Framing components are placed in 2D and are visible in 3D only while in framing mode. Choose the split 2D 3D view. In the rendering styles, choose framing. Click the framing plan tab and the framing beam button. To place it, position the cursor at the beam starting point. Press the left mouse button and drag to the beam ending point. Release the button to place the beam. You can change the building materials for the beam. You can also change the width and depth. While selected, you can go to Object Elevation and change the elevation of that beam as well. Note that the components placed here in framing are only viewed in framing view, not in the standard 3D view. You can also place columns in framing view as well. Select the column tool. Position the cursor at the end of the column and click to place it. While selected, the elevation of the column can be changed. You can change materials between the wood and steel. You can also change the height and the diameter or width on the right hand side of the properties pane. And finally, you can place joists in the framing plan as well. We'll navigate back just a little bit and select the Framing Joist tool. On the Properties pane, you will see customizable joist angle, spacing, and size. Draw methods are provided to make creating a variety of shapes easy. We'll choose the Corner Rectangle Draw method. Position the cursor at a desired corner location. Press the left mouse button and drag to create the shape. Release to place. While selected, the joist angle, spacing, and size can be changed. Like any other punch object, you can edit the shape using the mouse and cursor or arrow keys to nudge that point. You can change building materials and change other properties at any time while you're designing. 